Tremendous. Diary of a Not Yet Mighty Oak by Bridget Hayos. Illustrated by Mike Chicatello. Year One. Day One. April 5th. Hello, world. They say that from the smallest acorn, the mightiest oak tree grows. I hope that's true. Year two, April 5th. I'm turning one today. Oh, how I wish to be a tree like all my relatives in the forest. That's my grandmother over there, and those are my aunts and uncles. Of course, there are other families in the forest, too, like the walnuts. They're a little nutty, if you ask me. The florals, which have a certain buzz about them, and the pines. That one family who always goes overboard with Christmas decorations. Though the forest is filled with trees, I mainly hang out with my brothers and sisters. We're just an average family, all 10,000 of us. My twig mates and I are especially close, sometimes too close. Ugh! Scooch over! September 22nd. It's getting cooler. One by one, plink, my brothers and sisters fall until finally... September 24th. By mom's side, we have it made in the shade. But each of us must find our place in the sun. October 10th. I catch a ride with a furry friend. November 1st. Oh no, I've lost my cat. And where is that squirrel, anyway? It hid me and then never came back. Worst game of hide-and-seek ever. Sigh. Might as well snuggle in and catch some... Year 3. March 23rd. I'm rested and ready for spring. In fact, I'm bursting with energy. Whoa! I did it. I sprouted. Root, check. Stem, check. Leaves, check, check, check. Hey. I'm growing right next to Grandma and one of the pine seedlings. The three of us spend our days soaking up the sun. Ah, that's the stuff. October 14th. I just noticed I'm growing all these little buds. Hey, what's up, bud? Hello there, bud. Oh, hey, bud. I wonder what that's all about. It's getting cold. Pine trees' leaves are still green as can be, but mine are changing color. Ooh la la, I'm a redhead now. Year 4, March 20th. Ding, 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 
it's spring, spring, spring. My buds are bursting into stems and leaves. Now I am taller and more gorgeous. What makes my leaves so shiny and green? Amazing chlorophyll allows my leaves to absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Then, poof! Like magic, the sunlight changes the water and carbon dioxide into sugar, a.k.a. also known as tree food. Sweet! This is called photosynthesis. It's complicated. I'm complicated. September 3rd. Good morning. And what a morning it is. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Insects are attacking me. Hey, buzz off. Luckily, I'm what you call thick-skinned. Each year I grow new layers of wood and bark. My new bark carries food to all my parts. My old bark protects me from pests. Shoo! Shoo! Sigh. I just have so many layers. Year 5, April 9th. I'm four and a half feet tall now, and a little thicker. Last year's new bark is now old bark, and last year's sapwood is now heartwood, which helps me stand straight and tall like the fine young tree I am. My new layer of sapwood carries water up and down my trunk. The rainwater flows up through my roots, trunks, branches, and twigs, as if my leaves are drinking it through a straw. <sniffs> Gulp! Ah, uh, refreshing. Each spring and summer, I grow. Year six. And grow. Year seven. And grow. Year nine, until year 10, April 5th. I'm a 10-year-old tree standing 20 feet tall. You know what they say, time flies when you're having sun. The great thing is, I've grown so tall that now I can see mom and my brothers and sisters, and the pines, and walnuts, and florals. April 26th. I feel like I'm part of something big now. Remember how I said my leaves absorb carbon dioxide? Well, too much carbon dioxide in the air causes global warming. Trees slow down global warming. At the same time, my leaves release oxygen, which animals need to breathe. Not to be sappy, but trees make the world a better place. June 28th. It's hard to believe that I started out as a teeny tiny acorn and now I'm a mighty oak. Well, almost. Year 20, April 5th. I've started sprouting flowers, just like the florals. Oh, my heartwood. Some of my flowers are turning into little acorns. They look just like I did as a seed. I can't wait to be a mighty oak, just like Mom. A 
Anatomy of Me, an oak tree. Do you know all the important parts of me? Leaves. Leaves are my food-making factory. Flowers. They produce my seeds. Acorns, also known as fruit or seeds. Baby me. With water and sunlight, acorn me will sprout into tree me. Branches and twigs. After sprouting from buds, they provide a place for my leaves and fruit or flowers to grow. Trunk. It allows me to stand straight and tall and carries food and water up and down me. Roots. They hold me in place and absorb water and nutrients. It has been wonderful getting to know you, and I hope you've enjoyed getting to know me too.